Welcome, everyone. My name is Karine Mogg. As the director of the Meter Center, it is my great pleasure to have an opportunity today to show you some of the treasures from our commemorative medal collection. As we mark our 40th anniversary this year, we will take some opportunities to share with you some of these items and tell you a little bit of their backstory. Not surprisingly, many of our commemorative medals are about John Calvin, his life, anniversaries of his life, and so on and so forth. But we also have some medals that commemorate specific aspects of the Reformation or identity markers that people wanted to remember. So I'm going to show you three sets of these. We're going to start with three medals, all Genevan, that commemorate the anniversary of the start of the Reformation in Geneva. Now, what is interesting to me is that although most people think the Genevan Reformation started in 1536, so commemorations should be in like 1836, these ones are commemorating 1535. And what they're commemorating is the banning of the mass in Geneva. They're taking that as a starting point for their Reformation anniversary. These medals are Genevan, made in the 19th century, either 1835, so 300 years, or 1885, 350 years of the start of the Genevan Reformation. And they are beautiful, right? These images are almost 3D in terms of how they're made. So you have the figure of the woman in the middle here, figure of truth, and she's pointing to scripture. And the reformers are pointing to scripture themselves. They're preaching from scripture. So the Bible is front and center. If you turn the medal over, the back side has the crest of Geneva and again the Bible front and center. This other one similarly has the Bible front and center. Interestingly, it's, uh, the, the, the words for the Bible here are in Latin, Biblia Sacra, which is already kind of interesting given that so much of the Reformation involved the vernacular scriptures. And there's also words along the margin here along the border which are interesting to look at. They say um, Bible, faith, and the restoration of reason, reason restored. It's kind of interesting as these three words together as the hallmarks of the Reformation. So this one too, the Bible front and center, and on the reverse, you have the images of four reformers of Geneva, so Calvin, Beza, Farel, and Viré. And if you look really closely in the very background of the medal, you can see uh, architectural rendering of the inside of Geneva's main church. Which is kind of beautiful, all that together in one metal. And then we have one here in the front, which again puts scripture front and center, little metal. Um, this is the 300th anniversary metal, the Bible front and center, the lights of the, 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 the sort of the rays of light coming from heaven, and the IHS letters on the top to, to meant to refer to Jesus. So all of these medals were done to help Genevans remember the importance of this anniversary and to see the Bible as the central focal point of their Reformation. So commemorative medals of the anniversary of the Reformation makes a lot of sense. We have another set I want to look at with you, which are commemorations of the educational institutions that did so much to help train people for the Reformation. So this one, for instance, is the 300th anniversary medal of the foundation of the Genevan Academy. And the man on this side here is Theodore Beza. He was the first rector, the first president, if you want, of the Genevan Academy. The buildings of the Genevan Academy are in the background. And then he's meeting with two city leaders. So you have the connection between city and church all coming together to create the important educational institution that trained pastors and leaders for the Reformed Church going out of Geneva and spreading through Europe and then broader, further afield. And it's not just Geneva that makes these medals. Um, this one here is a lovely little one commemorating the 450th anniversary of the creation of the uh, Protestant Academy in Debrecen in Hungary. So Hungary was a reformed area in the 16th century. Their schools were justly famous, were well known, and they make this medal again to commemorate how influential these educational institutions were in preparing the leaders for the church and for the community um, in the subsequent generations. So you can have medals that also commemorate these important institutions, these schools that did so much to shape the faith, the reformed faith going forward. And my third category is medals that commemorate specific church events. 
The two at the top here commemorate the same event, that is the first National Synod of the French Reformed Church that met in Paris in 1559. And on the one medal you have a, a depiction of the meeting itself. The other medal has various emblems, including the Huguenot cross, which is so influential yet for Huguenot and Huguenot descendants. Um, so these medals are there to really almost say, here is who we are, right? This is who we are. This is our founding event as French Huguenots, our first national synod. And then the last medal I want to show you is actually kind of cool. It's not a commemorative medal in the sense of being done for an anniversary. It was done at the time. This is one of the medals that was struck at the closure of the Synod of Dort in 1620. The international delegates got a gold version of this medal. The Dutch delegates got sort of this kind of medal. So this is one of those medals for the Dutch delegates. The one side shows you the meeting, the hall of meeting for the Synod of Dort. And if you look closely, you can see a set of empty benches. Those were for the French reform delegates who were not allowed by their king to attend, but their seats were saved for them. Um, and then on the other side, it's more sort of symbolic. This is Mount Zion, and there are pilgrims going up to Mount Zion. So the idea here is that the Synod of Dort is foundationally contributing to the strength of the Reformed faith that is as the strength of Mount Zion. So it will not be shaken. It is blessed by God. And there's a sense in which this medal was trying to assert the long, long standing significance of the Reformed faith as being sort of uh, directed and supported by God all the way through. So these medals are only a few of the ones of our collection, and we hope in a subsequent recording to tell you more about some of the medals that actually commemorate Calvin himself.